Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach you how to make the employee payroll system leave management part. Uh, let us show the demo first. Here, this is the three main functions available. First one should be employee. Here you will be able to register the employee. Just click on this button. Here you will be able to register the employee. Employee number should be auto generated. Here. Uh, you have to enter the employee details first name I am going to add the John category I am going to add as uh, account salary 12,000 right hit save button save the details I am going to go to add another employee Peter category IT salary I am going to add 10,000 right I am going to add another employee Kumar category marketing salary 20,000 right I have entered three employees in our company right now let's cancel it this form now let's back to our database table this is the registration table if you look at the uh, database table you will be able to see all the record will be uh, saved right? right now let's back to our project right now here what I am going to do is here uh, after add the, all the employee details I am going to go to the leave section this is the leave section click on this one here uh, this is the leave calculation part here you will be uh, uh, here this company rules uh, in, in, in here you will be provide casual leave for 10 annual leave for 10 medical leave for 10 right this is the company rules right year 2019 right click at leave inserted right perfect now let's cancel this form right now let's back to our database this is a leave table you will be able to see here this employee 001 mean it's it belongs to the name John after the this mean two uh, two mean Peter three mean Kumar all employee here leave details should be added now what I am going to do is here I am going to calculate the leave right here employee leave click on this one here what I am going to do is here here uh, E001 you have to select the employee number right here if you select the employee number the relevant details should be displayed now imagine uh, the employee Peter uh, get the leave for casual leave so here click on this one he wants the leave for five days so here I'm going to give the leave for five days right now click OK right the casual leave updated right perfect now what I'm going to do is here again I'm going to go to leave management uh, leave here again I'm going to select Peter select casual leave it asks for another six days click OK here you have a casual leave for five days only so here what is the what is uh, message say is you have a casual leave in the system 10 days you already got five days so you have a remaining five days only available for for the year of uh, casual leave you can't get above above from this range okay so if you get four days it will be provided right leave updated right. that's a simple one you have the same thing do as a uh, this one annual medical as well right now you will be able to see go to the database table right you will be refresh it you can here you will be see here e002 mean it belongs to the person Peter he has the remaining one day only casual leave right he got he already got 90s right other uh, annual leave and medical leave is keep on the table right the simple system how to do step by step we'll see okay let's go to the net beans I used to develop this project using NetBeans right now let's go to the file new project select Java application next 
if it is check create main class you have to uncheck it you have to here give the name as employee leave right you can give any name employee leave management or any name you can give as a project name that doesn't matter click finish now your project has been created right like this after that after project has been created you are another project files you have to cross it right this is your project right now your project folder consists of two important folders one is a source package another folder name is libraries this is most important to the uh, folders here go to the library folder here this one here I have to import the MySQL connector for Java. This connector I have to import into this folder libraries. Okay. So how to download the MySQL connector for Java? Go to the Google. Here you have to type MySQL connector for Java. If you type, it goes to the relevant website. Here this is the first link. MySQL download connector. This one. You just click on this one. If you click, it goes to the particular website for download. So go come down here. Here you will be see here MySQL connector Java dot zip. You have to download the file format as zip folder. Here click the button download. If you click download, it goes to the different website for uh, for download. Here no need to join, uh, jo log in or uh, sign up. You just click on this link below this button. No thanks, just start my download. If you click on this link, your download has been started to download. Here I just cancel it. I already download this connector in my machine. Uh, I will uh, show you after download the file, uh, what the format should be here. I'm going this is my SQL connector for Java after downloaded your file uh, format should be look like this so click on this folder uh, this zip file folder right click you have to select the option extract all right if you extract all what happen is you will be able to see the folder here this one my SQL connector Java right here these are the most these two libraries you have to add in your project right so how to add this go back to your project select the library folder this one is let's select the library folder not this library folder right click add jar folder select the jar folder where your uh, computer reside on so it's reside from uh, f drive and here mysql connector right this one go to the folder inside this folder you have these two files you have to hold on hold on the control key down and you have to select both and open it now you will be able to see a uh, library folder you will be able to add uh, it it uh, successfully added on the library folder this jar two jar files right now you will be able to connect mysql for your java right now what i'm going to do is here after that go to the source package you have to here on the left side you have a, uh, this plus symbol you click on this one if you click you will be able to see the default package you select on this package right click uh, new java package here i'm going to change the package name as employee uh, leave package name I'm going to change employee leave. right now you successfully your package name has been changed now select the package right click new I'm going to create the uh, select the frame J frame form. here I'm going to create the project name class name as employee leave. right same name I'm going to create this class name as well click finish your project you are successfully created your J frame here right the simple here here it's created now first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to design the employee registration form so here simply you have to increase the form little bit so
so go back uh, go to your right hand side palette here go to the palette and drag the panel from the palette and drag on the J frame you have to arrange the size like this now what I'm going to do is here after that select this uh, panel right click properties go to the property border now what this property here you have to select the title border you have to give the title as here as employee registration right that's the stuff you have to do right now here I'm going to change the font size as 12 with both click OK right perfect now you right after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the labels <coughs> first one we have to uh, this one should be employee number second one employee name third one I'm going to put as uh, category after that we have to drag another one this one should be seller right now I need to drag uh, three text boxes text fields sorry text fields from the palette right now here I'm going instead of the text field I'm going to drag one label on when the, this, this one should be employee number should be auto generated I'm going to set as a code right after that I need one button for here this one here, here drag here out of the panel drag two buttons this one should be save this button should be cancel right now select the font okay select all the labels hold on the control key down and select this four right here it selected successfully you you selected only these labels you will be see around the text uh, the uh, yellow color border should be there so it will be the selected okay so after that right click properties go to the font I'm going to bo with bold I'm going to select as 40 for here right it's, it's a little bit it increased the size of here after that select this four text uh, three text box sorry along with the label I'm going to select for text for right click properties font I'm going to select as with board 14th right perfect perfect right now after that what I'm going to do is here select the panel right click properties background color I'm going to give the background color as something that right you have to select like this now if you select as red this uh, this is not uh, the this color should be not a uh, matching for red so select again the same thing hold on the control key down and select this labels right click properties I am going to foreground color here not a background color I am going to change the color of the font so I am going to change the foreground color white right now it's perfect now you'll be see it's perfect completely done now here select this label the idea auto number generate should be auto this, this one should be auto number generate I'm going to show this ID as a different color so right click properties here we have the foreground I'm going to select as this color yellow now it's perfect right now this text I'm going to remove it default text right click edit text backspace to remove this one right click backspace to remove this one right click backspace to remove here what I'm going to do is here 
first i'm going to give the name of these text boxes so this one right click change variable txt number you have to put as emp number or it's successfully so i'm going to just put as a txt number you will be able to, you can put employee number something like that here uh, right click this field txt name If you like, you will be able to write EMP name. This one, right click, TXT category. Right. This one, select this one, right click. This one, TXT salary. You have to change the name like this. Right. Perfect. Now here border also, we have to change the color of this text. Right click. You, you can't change here. Go to the border title, this one here you will be able to change the color here white okay white okay here this is the border property properties okay click ok here it will be changed right now it successfully you have designed your form right now what I'm going to do is here simply I'm going to write the code for the uh, auto number generated code I'm going to write first right so when the when the form is loaded this number should be auto generated right now what i'm going to do is here go back to our browser this is i'm using mysql database so uh, if you are if you don't know how to install mysql server mysql server please uh, watch the tutorial uh, how to install the exam server so after install the exam server you will be able to see the dashboard look like this just go to the mysql after that go to the mysql my admin here uh, you will be able to create the database right now here what i'm going to do is here after uh, click on the my uh, ph my admin you will be able to see the dashboard like this here click on new create the database you have to give the name here so i'm going to simply give employee employee uh, leave otherwise you have to employee leave emp I'm, otherwise i am going to give us emp payroll great right emp payroll right here first i am going to create the field as registration first field i am going to create registration uh, how many columns we needed only four columns we need right first font columns needed okay four right click go first one should be emp number this should be watcher 255 characters with primary key you have to set the primary key here right after that second one should be emp name watcher 255 characters after that you have to write as a category after that salary salary you have to select as int 11 right this is a field to create the table right click save right now your database name is emp payroll uh, your you have created the table inside the database you have created the table registration right now what i'm going to do is here go back to your project first i am going to uh, write the code for the auto incremented id right when the form is loaded the employee number should be auto generated right before save the record so let's now you are in the design click source this is your source code here go here source code here you have to create the function first public white auto id right here what i'm going to do is here first i'm going to write as first i'm going to write uh, the connection so first before i'm going to uh, create this function i'm going to create the connection database connection so public white 
I'm going to create this one for connection. Right. Connection function first I'm going to create. Right. In order to connect MySQL database and Java. Right. First you have to write class dot for name. Here we have to write the driver com dot MySQL dot JDBC dot driver. You have to write like this. After that, you have to write. Uh, here, if you write like this, it show the error. You just click on this one. You have to select this one. Surround dot statement with try catch. Right? The try and catch is automatically generated. Right? This is how you have to do. After that, what I am going to do is here. I have to create two objects here. First one should be connection con. After that, prepare statement. PST. Right. This classes you have to create it. The connection select this one. Select important import to add import for Java SQL connection. Not this, this. Second one, select this one. Add import for Java SQL prepare statement. Second one. You have to import that too. Now the error go away. After that, what I'm going to do is here. Here we have to write the things con equal driver manager uh, sorry uh, con equal driver manager dot get connection here we have to write the connection here so outright jdbc mysql you have to write local lost Here you have to specify the name of the database. What is the database you have created? If you forgotten, go back to your database, employee payroll. You have to write the uh, database name here without any spelling mistake. But you have gave the name of the MySQL, the same name you have to write here, payroll. Right. After that, uh, you have to write comma. You have to here, comma. You have to here write as you have to give as say, MySQL server username and password, right? MySQL, uh, if you uh, if you install MySQL server, the default username and password will be username will be root, password will be blank, right? This is the default one, right? You have to write like this, okay? That's the stuff you have to write, okay? If you write it, it show error. This is not error, you just click on this one you have to import the catch right your catch should be important right my sql connection exception right successfully right your connection has been created successfully this is the connection you have to use right now this is the simple connection you have to use this is your database right your database is reside on my sql server right my sql localhost your database name is emp payroll yet first you have to write like this after that this Connection uh, function control C to copy. You have to call control V to paste here. Call inside the auto ID inside the auto ID function. Right now, here I'm going to write the code for that. First, I'm going to write the class statement statement is equal. You have to write con dot con dot. You have to write con dot create statement. right after that we have to write the result set rs equal so here it should be it's not not error click on this one and import the this one add import for java sql statement you have to import the class sql statement class that's error right after that again it's show the error you have to import the surround on the try catch second one that's a, that's the thing you have to do control x to cut off control v to paste inside the try here right now problem is over now simply you have to write uh, this one you have to call this s dot execute query you have to write the query here what's the query you have to write you have to write select max you have to write the keyword max here you have to give the id 
what is an uh, employee what is the id employee number right this one should be auto generated so here give the id employee number from which table registration table this is the table right this table name is registration right here this table name is registration right now it show there uh, you have to import the result set class as well here if you click click all the classes it will be created the namespace above here sql connection driver manager prepare statement resources so all the classes will be added right after that what i am going to do is i am going to write rs dot next after that rs dot get string so we have to write as max keyword to write the, this number control c to copy control v to paste here this one you have to write it after that you have to close this one after that we have to check the validation if the same thing you have to copy you have to put the bracket right inside the bracket you have to control c to copy this one you have to copy control c to copy control v to paste here after that equal null if the number is not available for the first time it is starting from the position as you have to write as here uh, where the number should be uh, created here so what is the name of right click txt number right so txt number dot set x here we have to write it is starting from uh, employee number as e m e m em001 right it's starting box em001 right so auto generate id working okay if it is if the, if there is no id for the first time it is starting from this position if it is id is already there you already add the records what happened is go to sales part you have to write the code as create long data type id equal long dot pass int pass sorry pass long the same thing you are copying control c to copy control v to paste to here control v to paste here right that's a tough you have to do right here we have to remove the, this one after that what i am going to do is here dot substring to comma again you have to copy the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here that's a tough you have to do after that dot after that uh, dot length after the dot length right now after that we have to close the bracket here you have, you have to close the bracket here as well you have to close that bracket here right right that's the thing we have to do after that you have to write id plus plus this id variable plus plus if the ic need that record it should be incremented right after that we have to write this one same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here we have to write uh, as the format em plus string format string dot format here we have to write this one as um, 0 3 d after that we have to call this one id that's it of we have to write now here we have to close the bracket as well that's why show there uh, right is bracket you have to close it here right that's the only thing we have to do right this a uh, function you have to control c to copy when the form is loaded the id should be loaded so control c to copy this function go to the constructor employee leave constructor this initial initial component initial component mean all the this when the form is loaded the initial component all the form component should be loaded so here along with the component 
control V to paste, this auto generate ID function should be worked, right? Now let's click start. Here, it's working fine. Now, another problem is when the form is loaded, it's it's uh, it's loaded somewhere of the uh, uh, somewhere on the screen. It's not a proper way. When the form is loaded, it loaded at the center. So what to do is select the frame, right click, properties, go to the tab code, generate center, close it. Now if you run the application, the application will be loaded at the center. All right. Perfect. Now let's close it. Now let's go to the go to. After that, I'm going to write the code for the save button. So uh, click on the save button, right click, event, action, action perform. Here I'm going to write first. I'm going to create the variable string uh, emp number equal to this text box, this label name, right? Change variable this name, right? Uh, what is the value display here? It is assigned to the variable employee number. So you have to write txt number dot get text. After that, we have to write another thing is string emp uh, emp name equal txt name dot getx. Right. After that, string category txt category dot getx. After that string salary equal txt salary dot get text. Right. What are the values you are typing here in these text boxes? It is assigned to the relevant variables. Right. Store the relevant variables. Now these variables I'm going to insert the record right now what I'm going to do is after that uh, I'm going to write the sorry so PST prepare statement object I already created above here or oh, here I'm going to uh, this connection function control C copy control V to paste here we have to call the connection after that PST equal uh, connection dot prepare statement here you have to write the insert query for that insert the record so you have to write here is insert into which table you are going to insert the record registration table registration you have to write here is column names you have to write first one it will be this one this columns names you have to write employee number employee name category salary so you write emp number comma uh, second one is emp name after that category after that salary right after that we have to write values write the question marks right here we have we have four values so we have written four question mark right now here it see the error it's not error click on this one and uh, you have to uh, click on this one try catch surround with try catch right now error go away now here after that we have to write pst dot set string first one should be emp number second one should control c to copy this one control v to paste here Second one should be EMP name. Third one should be category. Fourth one should be salary. Can see the copy cannot be the paste here. Right. After that, what I am going to do is here. Uh, I am going to insert the record into the database. So you have to write PST dot execute update. Right. If you call this one, it should be it will be update uh, uh, insert the record into the database. Finally, we have to write as a J option pan 
to display the message box so option pan dot show message show message dialog this you have to, have to write as a this one as a have to write here is registration added employee Adapt. Right, you have to write like this. That's the stuff we have to write. After the employee, what happens is you have to this all the stuff should be clear. This text boxes should be clear. So txt name dot set text clear. After that, the same thing control C copy control V to paste here. Second one you have to this one category control C copy control V to paste here. Salary, can all see to copy, can all be to paste here. This one should be clear. After clear, we have to focus the cursor on txt name dot request focus. Cursor should be focused on the txt text name. Request will be focused here. Right. Cursor will be focused on txt name text box. That's the stuff we have to do. After that, we have to do another important stuff is this auto ID, control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be refresh it after add the record. This one should be again. It's, it is refreshing, right? Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Now here it's auto generated successfully. Now here I'm going to first add the record as John uh, category account salary 12,000. Hit save, bu save button employee added. I'm going to add another record Peter category IT salary 15,000 click save button employee added right after that i'm going to add another record kumar category marketing salary to 20000 click save right employee added successfully now let's go back to our database and check it so emp payroll this is your database table registration click on this one here all the stuff should be uh, added successfully right now let's close it now let's back to our project now what i'm going to do is here this one should be our cancel button so right click event action action perform this one you have to write here is this dot height otherwise this dot height you have to write this dot height You have to write like this okay now let's if you want to cancel the form you just click it will be cancelled right perfect now we completed the task of employee registration now i'm going to go to uh, design the form of leave now i'm going to design the leave registration form select this one uh, select the package employee leave right click new j frame form here we have to write as leave class name i'm going to give as leave finish right now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the size of little bit like this after that i'm going to go to the palette and drag one panel on the palette like this here i'm going to right click properties border title border here i am going to give the name as tit uh, title name as leave information right here we have to select the color as white text color white and increase the form, uh, font size as pit bold 14 click ok click ok right now select the uh, panel right click pro, uh, properties background color i'm going to change it as this color click ok now it's perfect now your uh, panel should be perfect now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to drag the labels here two three three four labels i'm going to drag this one should be casual leave
this one should be annual leave this one should be medical leave this one should be year right now here i'm going to change the font size uh, uh, font size uh, as 2l here i'm going to change as 2l and i'm going to change the uh, foreground color as well so select the labels or down the control key down and select the labels and right click properties go to the front property bit bold here 14th click ok after that go to the foreground property here here we have to select the color as white click ok close right we have to like this after that go to the palette drag the spinner tool this one you have to drag on the frame the same uh, sp uh, spinal tool control c to copy control v to paste get the another copy control c to copy control v to paste again control c to copy control v to paste again you have to get four right now here you have to align set the alignment right like this the same size you have to get it right okay now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change the uh name of this one this one first try this one should be txt i'm going to change txt casual casual second one should be change txt annual third one should be txt medical this one should be txt here You have to change the sp uh, spinal tool names right after that i get two buttons get two buttons you have to reduce the size of the form you have get the two uh, two buttons you get the button one uh, this button i drag another button right this one should be uh, we have to click OK. This one should be OK. This one should be cancel. Cancel. Right. Now here the frame size we have a little bit like this. Perfect. Perfectly down. After that, select the frame. Right click properties. When the form is loaded, go to the code uh, code uh, tab. Generate center. Okay. When the form when the frame is loaded, it's, it's loaded at the center. Right. This thing we have to do after that we have to add the code part as well now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to click the ok button right click event action action perform right now here i'm going to add the leave for the employee okay so here first what i'm going to do is here these these values we have to uh, equal into the uh, relevant variable so this one should be what is the name of txt casual so you have to write string casual casual equal txt cash casual dot get text this is not a get text this is the get value because this is this is a spinal tool so that we have to write like this get value what you what is the value you have to you have to select here this is you have to set it to this variable here you have to write as a get value it get the value right the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here right this one should be annual this one should be txt annual third one should be medical this one should be medical Here, this one should be year. Here we have to write as this one as a txt year dot get text. Year mean 
we have to not this we have to remove that one we have to uh, put the instead of the spinal to have to put the track on the text box text field right right click change variable txt here and right click edit text remove the text and select this one again properties go to the sorry uh, go to the font property bold with 14 you have to enter the size as 14 to 12 you have to give right it's right that's the thing you have to do right that's the stuff you have to do now let's go here code part text here dot get x right this is the thing we have to do right after that uh, what i'm going to do is here uh, we are connection database connection we already gave here so the same uh, already we have to we have wrote on the employee leave dot java page the same connection function control c to copy go to the leave dot java control v to paste here above the button event here you have to paste it here right not you have to paste inside here okay you have to paste outside the here it's a method you have to create a separate method right now here it's show the error so here we have to create the same thing connection con object and prepare statement statement pst right now here i also you have to add the namespace this one so prepare statement p prepare statement here you have drawn here State and the paper state that's it that's the stuff you have to do now the error go away after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to insert the value so the connection function control c to copy control v to paste here button right here i'm going to write the insert code here so that we have to write pst equal pst equal uh, we have to write we have to create two prepare statement one this i'm going to create second one control c to copy control v to paste here because uh, i have write two prepare statement on this same code right first prepare statement what does is con dot prepare statement we have to plot all the employee uh, numbers from the table of registration table right so here first i'm going to write select emp number from which table registration table station table right. right because i loading the all the employee from the employee registration table employee number from the employee table right so uh, because i am going to give the uh, leave i am going to add the leave for all the employees so that i am going to load the all the uh, employee number from the table registration table right uh, here it show the error it's not error it is trying to you have to import this one try and catch right after that what i'm going to do is here you have to write the result set object result set rs equal ps dot ps uh, ps sorry pst dot pst dot the prepare statement dot execute query execute query you have to this class also you have to what is a error result set result set right. you have to import this result set class as well after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the uh, string variable string emp value just like this i just created it as emp value right now here i'm going to write the while loop I'm going to here I'm going to load all the employee numbers here I'm going to create the while loop for uh, if I click uh, if I set the leave for the year if you click OK all the employee uh, what, what are the employee registers on this uh, re registration what are the employee available at the registration number all the employee get the same leave okay so that you have to write the while loop so rs next you have to write 
job right here is uh, employee number employee this one this variable you have to call it here equal rs dot get string get string emp number this is a column we have to we have to load all the columns this is a columns we have to get it you have to put into this variable employee value right this columns we have to load all the numbers and load into this variable right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the second prepare statement this one pst1 right so here we are we are writing two prepare statement right pst equal pst1 equal pst1 equal you have to write pst1 right one equal you have to write the con dot prepare statement prepare statement here we have to write this one as a insert into which table you are going to insert the record leave table you are going to insert the record so i haven't created the leave table yet so go to the your database emp payroll this is the database i'm going to go here i'm going to create the new table right here i'm going to create the new table you have to create the column five columns first one should be here we have to uh, five uh, six columns you have to create six columns here you have to write as a leave right first one should be id this one you have to make it as auto incremented it should be auto incremented id right leave id right this is a leave id second one should be uh, employee number this one should be watcher third one should be casual casual leave casual casual select int 11 after that annual 11 after that we have to medical medical leave finally this one here right these are the field we have to create on the leave table right you have these other fields right after that we have to click save button and ah, leave okay leave is we have to give us a uh, you have to write as a leave information leave information this is the table name leave information right click ok it say the error uh, leave is a predefined keyword of uh, mysql so that it's uh, so the warning message so i am going to give as a leave information right click save right yeah your leave table has been created successfully now let's back to your project now here i'm going to write the table name as leave information here i have to write the uh, column names here uh, first one should be you have to write as uh, e employee number emp number second one should be uh, casual annual after that medical after that year right after that we have to write as a values you have to write here question mark here You have to put five question mark here five data are there one two three four five you have to write five question mark end the statement right that's enough we have to write perfect after that what i'm going to do is here we have to set into the relevant variables these variables right so we have to pst1 dot set string set string first one should be employee number uh, this employee number should be this one this value we have to set here this value we have to set here second one should be control seat copy control v to paste here second one should be this one uh, casual casual control seat copy control v to paste here what is the casual you are selecting you have to put here after the control seat copy control v to paste here 
third one should be annual fourth one should be medical after that fifth one should be year right we have to write like this okay here we have to load all the uh, all the employee number and we have to put into the this rs we have to store here rs you have to call and get the employee number field from the database all the employee number should be loaded and put into this variable it is giving here all the employee number will be uh, added here if you put the while loop, okay all what are the employees you are available in the registration table so all the employee leave should be added if you put inside the while loop right that's why i have to put like this after that we have to call the thing pst1 dot execute correct sorry execute update finally we have to write the message box option pan dot show message show message dialog so we have to write as this so we have to write this here is leave information added That's the stuff we have to call it here. Perfect. Uh, now let's check whether it's working fine or not. The information, right. All the things are correct. Right. Now let's check. Now we have to set this one as a default configuration. Customize. When the, we have to check the this one. Leave form. So we have to check here, leave. Now we have to check here. Now here I am going to set it as 10 days, casual leave, annual leave 10 days, medical 10 days, year 2019, hit OK button. What is the error? Unknown column casual. Casual is the problem. Why? Casual, what is the column name I have entered here? Casual, what's the error? Unknown column, casual. Sorry, here the problem is here I have a mistake under spelling. The same thing here, C-A-U-S-A-L. Here we are key C-A-S. So we have the same thing, you have to control C to copy, control V to paste here. That's the problem, right. Now let's close it. I'm going to again we have to run the application. Annual leave 10 days, medical leave 10 days. Right. 2019. Hit save button. Leave information added. Click OK. Now let's check. Go back to our database. Browse here all the leave should be added the, there are three employees available the three employee get the same leave information here right i hope you guys you understood so, uh, so far in my next tutorial i'm going to teach the uh, employee leave calculation part uh, i hope you guys you enjoy the lesson if you have any doubts on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me